Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. So Fake Paul uh, basically decides that his next fight should be against a guy like Tim Tebow. Now Fake Paul is asking Tim Tebow to get into boxing, saying that it's time for him to get into boxing. We all know who Tim Tebow is. You know, Tim Tebow is a guy who won the Heisman Trophy, if I'm not mistaken, a couple of times. Um, he had ambitions to become a professional quarterback. Didn't pan out too well for him in the NFL because of um, uh, just a bunch of different things, mechanics, uh, a whole accuracy. So a lot of different things played a role in Tim Tebow not being able to make it as a professional quarterback. Danny tried a stint at baseball. Uh, that didn't work out. Then he tried to become a tight end. That didn't work out. So now, keep in mind, Fake Paul sees Tim, uh, Tim Tebow's popularity, so he sees this as a money grab. Now, my thing is with Fake Paul, if Fake Paul would just say, you know what, I'm not a real actual boxer, I'm a celebrity boxer, and I think a lot of people, including myself, would be okay with him. But he continues to try to promote himself as a professional fighter, but he's yet to fight a professional fighter. You know, he's fought uh, two MMA fighters, um, an NBA player, and then uh, some, some, some nobody. You know, and I think what happened on Sunday... I think was a reality check because keep in mind he almost got knocked out and technically he was sleep on his feet and basically him falling against the ropes woke him up it was the same thing that happened with Amir Khan you know and the thing is with with Paul Paul was very hesitant to exchange with Woodley you know he was on his bicycle he was backing up he didn't want to exchange he was trying to call himself trying to time Woodley or try to land a counter shot. And that's pretty much what happened the rest of the fight. He was in no hesitation to exchange with Woodley because I think it wouldn't have worked out in his favor. Because had that punch landed again on him, he would have been in serious trouble. Which he was in serious trouble because keep in mind, the best highlight of the fight was him getting you know <laughs> getting <laughs> almost flatlined which by the way it should have been counted as a knockdown because at the end of the day at the end of the day they had an inexperienced referee so that's my problem with him they need to stop sanctioning his fights as professional fight now if you want to call him an exhibition then that's fine but to sit up there and compare yourself with the people that's putting in the hard work that, you know, fought in the amateurs, did their due diligence, you know, and, and worked and grind their way to the top, you know, or at least to make, you know, a name for themselves. I think that's a disrespect. And like I said before, him calling out Tim Tebow says all you need to know about him. He got his shit woke up and he like, damn, uh, I need another soft touch by him going for Tim Tebow and he think Tim Tebow don't got a boxing background so that's why he's calling Tim Tebow out that's obvious can we just keep it a buck but no we can't keep it a buck because we can't never keep it a buck when it comes to talking boxing and certain sports you know I'm a fan of the sport but I'm not a fan boy but I think this charade is already tired you know this dude retired for one day then he came back but at the end of the day he does oh showtime another fight because if i'm not mistaken he signed a two fight deal with showtime so he got to honor that contract so they want him to find somebody else to fight because i guess this this particular event was profitable for showtime now do i believe this did a million pay-per-views probably not I think it probably did half of it which is good for him you know which means they turned the profit I think this guy sold at 50, 50 bucks so you know hey but yeah let's let's just stop it with this dude man because like I said stop 
promoting yourself a professional fighter because you're not a professional fighter. Let's just keep it a buck, man. But anyway, just wanted to get that out there, man. You know, dude is further exposing himself as as a fraud. He won't ever fight a professional boxer with a boxing background. He has to try to keep this going. So he's going to be careful from now on. But I think eventually it's going to backfire on him again. And I can't wait. You know, and I'm not worried about people saying you're a hater and all that stuff. I don't care what y'all think. I can say what I want. You don't like what I have to say. Well, two things. Ask to be blocked or I'll block you. So, you know, it is what it is. We already know that they got fanatics out here. I don't know why he has such a big fan base, but the thing is, he said that Kendall Gale was too big for him and, 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 and said he was too old, but then he wants to fight Tank. Okay, so that should show you all you need to know about him. Danny says that he used to be a bully. How could somebody let somebody like him bully him? One thing I can say about me, no white boy ever bullied me. So, you know, actually ain't too many black dudes that bullied me. One thing I refuse to be be bullied because one, I was I'm just gonna keep it one hundred. I was packing heat in school at, at age thirteen. So that's one of the reasons why people didn't bully me. So, you know, not saying that I'm proud of that, but you know, I was young. So just letting it be known. But yeah, just wanted to get that out the way. This your boy Town Biz, I'm out.